Hi again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going through more of the piles of stuff that I've picked up at yard sales and estate sales. I think most of these were picked up at yard sales. I'm still trying to stick with Lovies and Vintage. This is Fairview 1988. Look how absolutely adorable. I just love this little plush Easter egg in its hands. I'm trying to see. Yeah, his little whiskers have a little bit of wear, but not so bad. I'm hoping maybe 14 to like 15 to 20 dollars. Then a lovey. Pick up all things lovey. This is says cutie. It's a frog. I think it's Carter's, but there is no tag. Probably bread and butter for me. I tend to pick these up, especially if they've got their little ear tag, but I make lots of them. And I know I picked this one up because I knew I had one listed and I thought, well, I'll just make a lot of two. Well, now I went and looked this morning. It's the exact same number, but I have some other ones. So I'll probably just go ahead and start a second lot um, and then just keep raising the price as I go. Look, this says Playful Pals Mervins. Funny, we've had a couple of things that I have found that were exclusive to Mervyn's. Another rabbit, very cute little carrot, has a felt tip there. Definitely, it says made in Korea, definitely vintage. Probably maybe $20, $25 for it. And this, this says Fiesta, seven inch seal. Very cute. Not sure. Don't think it's vintage. Probably just picked it up. Look how cute. Now this is Cabbage Patch. Yeah. It's more than likely, I'm just going to throw it in the washing machine with other plush and then let the plush, you know, kind of try to clean it up a little bit. Just because this right here just seems a little dingy to me. So I'll just do that. I want to say these are the 80s also. They kind of look like the My Little Ponies, but they're not. They are Hasbro. Yeah, 1992. Just very cute. Probably still bread and butter. Um, I might have another one, though, which I'll just make a lot. And then look how cute this is. Not quite sure who it is. And yeah. Based on the nubs here, it's Folk Manus. So I'll just have to Google lens it and then just look up other folk manas. Not sure. What do you think? A lioness? I don't think so. It's got so. spots. It's got spots. Which would be leopard or cheetah, but there's no cheetah eyes. So leopard, but the spots aren't quite a leopard because there should be some black. So maybe like a... I don't know. The face reminds me of a mountain lion. Maybe. Like a mountain lion cub, maybe. Yep. A very nice full body. If you're listing puppets, you either have your hand puppets. Sometimes they're called sleeves when they just fit down your arm. Um, and then this will be full body. Very nice. Then I picked up some large things. I don't normally pick up large things. Plus, yes, maybe, but I couldn't resist this. It was only a dollar. Look. I thought it might be Little Tykes, but the Little Tykes isn't this color, and I don't see any markings on it. It does need cleaned, and I'm hoping, hoping we can figure out a way to collapse the leg. Otherwise, it may end up in a yard sale. But really, I bought it. So I like picking up these um, vintage little plastic irons for pretend play. Little Tykes has a series that's I think one that's squishy like this, and then there's another one that's like green and white, but it's hard plastic. But I tend to, you know, $10, $15 for something like this. Look, it still has its whistles while you work. Don't know. Very cute, though. Isn't that like a... Just whistle while you work. Snow, Snow White, White and the Seven yeah. Dwarf things. Mm-hmm. And then here's another big item. I actually have the grandmother's house back here because I haven't cleaned it up yet and then try to find a box to fit it in. These two well 
they're just so large and you know I'll end up offering FedEx not FedEx UPS um, ground shipping on it also but this is one of those things I'm going to pre pack it and we got this at my friends um, Courtney and Travis's yard sale they decided they're they sell on eBay also but they've decided they do not want to mess with the big stuff so I just went ahead and pick this up from them and hopefully before fourth quarter I'm gonna get this and the grandmother's house listed separately but it's very cute little tykes this is the stable and then we went to an estate sale I have never seen prices like these ever at an estate sale I think they were artists but I mean the first little knickknack thing I picked up they had an $85 price on it so I kind of walked through the house it was sparse too it was like this wasn't their normal home I think they had come to this house and did this estate sale but you know there was just sparse stuff everywhere but I went downstairs I looked around thought eh and started walking back upstairs and here came Robert down the stairs and he was like I still want to look even though I was like and then we found some stuff <laughs> oh, nanny, nanny, nanny. wait where's the thing you bought you go grab it it's gonna need cleaning but if this is a squishy vintage doll it says something on the shirt here famosa made in Spain the hair is in really good condition. It just seems like it has sat somewhere and just really collected a lot of dirt. But he only charged me a dollar for it. And then they had these two CDs. 2005. They're just Halloween sounds. Sound effects. I think I, I looked up comps on it. I want to say it was like 10 to 20 dollars for the two of them i think at some point yeah see this is number five and number six it was supposed to be a complete set of six but i only have the two but the discs were in really good condition so i, I think he charged us a dollar each a dollar each for them and then i picked up this whole box of stuff right and i started picking out the box was marked a quarter each and i started picking out these ceramic it says Dollar Tree on the bottom Norfolk Virginia but I just thought they were really cute the little faces on them there's a whole bunch of them in here Look how cute this one's a little votive also it says Kay's collection but I thought you know either like list them for like $9.95 each or maybe two of them for 20 and then there was some Easter stuff in here so I was pulling and he was like why don't you just give me five dollars for the box so I went ahead and did that you know, there's some wooden candlesticks in here several but here's the little Easter ornaments there's some more packs this one seems to be missing one but I thought I might just make a whole bunch of these I may even take them out of like this one needs to come out of the pack um, and then do some loose lots and maybe some of the other packaging like this one's loose also but definitely older there's a whole bunch of these in there made in China but they're that kind of pencil style ornaments a whole bunch of these type rabbits hopefully I can make a lot of them for you know 20 25 dollars but there's a whole bunch of them in there and then there was this in there and I, this intrigued me just old ooh, uh, vintage photo board or photo album I think this is uh, laminate on there I just thought why not for five dollars I'm definitely gonna make all my money back and then this is a Robert thing how much did you pay ten ten dollars for this huge box and inside are let's see let me pick one here 
family slides. Like this one is marked Christmas 1966, New Year's 1967. I felt like uh, Clark Griswold, Chevy Chase from Christmas Vacation, kind of trying to look at them at a light down there, you know, like in the attic. Yeah. This one says Vacation 1966, Boat Trip, Syracuse, Corning. So this is going to be a Rod Robert project. I've told him, you know, he's going to figure out how the best way to list all of these. You know, I love these little trays they're in. So we may just sell them by the tray. But if any of you know about selling slides and stuff, what's the best way? I know, I think there's an app you can use to take, you know, a few samples of what the slides look like. So just kind of let us know what you think as far as the best way to sell this type of stuff, but for $10. Something new, something different. More Robert stuff. They were all 25 cents each. Well, look how cute these are, and they're like a blue with these flowers on them. There's a set of three. Did you check comps? I think they were some sort of Libby. Right. Maybe. Maybe. So, and I want to say they were about eight or nine dollars each plus shipping in sets so you could probably do these for you know, like 20 bucks i think they're anchor hawking i think that's an anchor but maybe not i can't really tell oh no i think you're right i think that's the l for libby very nice so i'm thinking like 20 bucks plus shipping for the set of three and then here's some hats we pick up a lot of vintage snapbacks and they're slow movers, but they do sell. And I do put them on Poshmark also. But these are very dirty. This first one is Bush Hog. Don't know what that is. What is that? It's a Bush Hog. It cuts weeds. Oh, the fields. Like. Yeah. And then this one is unmarked, the full mesh top, but it does have a made in the USA label and then ducks back very dirty we'll probably try to put these um in the dishwasher or something to try to clean them but again it was made in the usa unless this is cardboard i don't think these are cardboard but just more snapback hats to go along with probably others that i i need to get listed over there we stopped at a pop-up yard sale by our friends tea and pickers um y'all they received a huge blessing from a friend who um mother had passed away and just wanted the house cleared out so she gifted them all the contents of several rooms and a lot of it is vintage toys and just a lot of stuff and so they've been putting out videos on all of the things that they've been um selling already but their first three items they sold was over a thousand dollars over a thousand dollars for the first three they were some unesco um vintage like a lot of um holiday decorations so yeah definitely go check them out and subscribe um but they are getting close to a thousand they are very close and but they, they picked up a bunch of other stuff from that house or from yard sales and stuff. So they were trying to clear out their massive pile. So I just started shopping. So I picked this up. It's just a bag of mostly, what are these character toys? Pretty sure this is, is a set to one of the Disney sets, but just hodgepodge. I really wanted it because I think Robert wants this. Foghorn Leghorn figure. And the, start. Chicken, and the chicken hawk. And the chicken hawk, yeah. So that's why we grabbed it. Pay attention, son. Look at me mm. when I'm talking to you. I haven't had this in a while. This is vintage Mattel, but, you know, it played music notes. Not all that. Take some strength, which I don't have in my hands. It just needs a good cleaning. Very cute. Probably, I don't know, maybe $15 or so for it. Big old Hulk pillow. Just had to grab it. 
That used to be Daniel's favorite Daniel's, superhero. Daniel's. I was just thinking that. My son had so many Hulks. So many. Look at this. Very cute. This is Pier 1 Imports. You can't get these anymore except online. I'm not sure if they still sell everything that they would have sold in their stores online. Just thought I'd grab that. Look, advertising plush. It's got MasterCard on the chest. It's Stephen Smith. Probably, I don't know, maybe $10 to $15 for it. You know me, I love my advertising plush. Disney. What was his raw? Ra Madagascar, wasn't it? No, this is Lion King. I forget his name, Rat. Can't remember. Can't. I haven't found him in a while. Let me take a picture and we'll figure it out. What was his name? And then your, your, Starts with an R. Your wonderful husband will edit this out so you look like you know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. I'm trying to beat you. Rafiki. Rafiki. Raf Rafiki. See, I knew it was an R. It's very cute. I couldn't believe he had this out there. Vintage Legos. Not sure if it's complete, but it did have this little figure just very neat not complete but the box itself is probably worth something man i did my cole's cares um, brand video and in that um, video there's a series that was peanuts i've never had charlie brown or the lucy doll so i just had to go ahead and grab this I'll probably, if I have Snoopy or Woodstock listed from Cole's Cares, I may just go ahead and add him to it. But very nice. I hadn't had him. Went ahead and grabbed, look how cute this Minnie Mouse is. Disney, one of the, let me teach you how to dress yourself ones. And I just love this. This is Disneyland. Large Mickey. Most of these are going to be bread and butter. All right, and then I stopped at a yard sale, and all of these Christmas ornaments were a dollar. And I don't always pick up a lot of the keepsake ornaments, but I scanned several of these, and they were like $15, $20. But just... Santa. Here's a Mickey Mouse in a car. I'll try to put all these, some of these comps up. Look, Santa trying to work out. Day Springs. So cute. Oh, this. Look. These are like porcelain. The Santa from Rudolph's Island of Misfit Toys and Rudolph. Had to grab it. Look, she also had this. Somebody else got a larger one before I could. Again, this is Jim Shore. Dated 2003. You know, I never find Jim Shore. And in one weekend, I found two pieces. Look. Care Bears. I do really well with some of the character ornaments. Just a couple of more Santas. Oh, and a grill. Very interesting. Different. You know, I'm ready for a little bit of different. And then I go and buy probably, what, we think maybe 250 plush this weekend. This was Child Guidance. It's a like a board to teach your multiplications. I tend to do really well. There's another series called the Magic Math Set that I like to pick up. I've not had this one before, but it was only a dollar, so I thought, why not? And it's, it is vintage. Then the rest of this is from T and Picker's Yard Sale. As soon as I got out of my car, I saw this. I was like, what in the world? Even if it was empty, I would have wanted the box. But it's not empty. This is going to go on my shelf as soon as Robert makes it. This is going to go on top. But it does have the silo. 
the farm and all of the animals and everything. And this is the chunky version. I think these are like the night like 97 99 something but these are the chunky animals chunky figures i've got a couple examples up there but i was just like and there was another guy who had it in his hands so then i'm like tim he puts it down i'm like tim what are you doing selling this and that guy was he started laughing he's like i think you might have tackled me if i went ahead and picked that up to to buy <laughs> So I was thrilled with this. There was a ton of clothes that they picked up in this. I'm going to call it the blessing donation to them. The blessing. But, y'all, these I've been telling Robert I want to start picking up more clothes because I think you need to have that. You can't have 6,000 plush and nothing else because, you know, it's just not feasible. You need to have a variety of stuff in your store. This is a brand we do very well with. And I'm guessing most of the, I think a lot of the clothes that this lady had were QVC. But because I have seen QVC tags on this type stuff before, but this brand is Quacker Factory. And I've got quite a few pieces. A lot of times there's a little theme to them. I just reminds me of clothes that a teacher might wear or something like that, but a lot of these clothes were large women's clothes, which we, that's what I'm trying to focus on this year. Here's another one that was Cracker Factory. It had a jacket. I'm short. Let me back up. A jacket and a, a shirt. I, there were pants and stuff in a lot of this, but... The Cracker Factories are frequently, as you can see, embellished. embellished. So you need to make sure that the embellishments are still there Yes. for it to have its full value. I've got several, but look, here's another one. It's just an Easter theme to it. It's very cute. Again, a lot of this, look, it still had its QVC stickers, and there were, they had several of these in different colors, but it says City Knits, and it does have a pair of pants on the inside. Very nice quality, you can tell. But y'all, we don't know clothes very well. Look at this. It is Lin Linea by Louis Dello Leo. Dello. We can tell I'm not used to that. There's the tag, but it is like suede. No, leather. Suede. Leather. Suede is leather. Oh, okay. But look at the embellishments on the sleeve. It's got a long skirt with it. The little tassels. I have no clue what I'm going to be doing with these as far as dollar values, but Robert gets to take the pictures. Look. Let me step back so you can see just how nice it is. In the back. Just very nice condition. Look at this. You could just tell this was something very unique. The brand is Silkscapes. I'm terrible at this. And it says Boston, Atlanta. Made in the Philippines. Dry clean only. Robert was the one that actually found this. I found another one first. Right. Right, and he went and told Jerry because the comps were showing what? 80 to 200 for for that brand. Right, for these. So he took and said, you guys need to list this. And then we found another one and she insisted that we go ahead and take this. And I guess we'll see. I'm, ho I'm hoping, I'm hoping to get maybe at least a hundred or so for it. Um, and then encourage them to get theirs listed also. But yeah, look at these. So many treasures this weekend. It was just, I, this will be the, the, the weekend to beat because I don't know if we will this year between the vintage clothes, all of the vintage toys, and then the opportunity to go into a house of vintage plush. And it was clean. And it was clean. Uh, and 
We got so many things new in the box, still with their tags, everything. You won't list them new, though. No, never list them new. Nope. That's not just, I don't do it. All right. You have gone beyond excessive Shh. on your time limit. Okay. Hush. Not you guys. What? Bye. What are the odds I'm actually going to hush? <laughs>